Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jumpstart 3rd Grade and today we're actually starting disc number 3 so I'm kind of excited. I want to go straight into the first mission on this. Let's take a look. No one knows what Abe Lincoln's voice sounded like. George Washington's voice will never be heard again. And the shot heard round the world, it echoes no more. There was nothing to record those sounds and that's why history is silent. My question to you is this. What was the first recorded sound? The first record had the coolest heavy metal guitar riff I've ever heard. That baby was singing. <laughs> Screeching more like it, Polly. But you're a hundred percent correct. The first recorded sound was of an electric guitar. I'll have you know, I'm pretty hip. <laughs> I love a shrieking tune and blasting amps as much as the next gal. Oh, great. If Polly gets her way, the poor person who first invented a way to record sound is going to wind up with quite a shock to his system. I bet he throws his invention in the garbage. It'll be the world's first broken record. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. Talk about a broken record, Borley. So what if I send Slide, the heavy metal robot, back in time to pump up the volume? If you don't like it, all you have to do is find four measly clues. A broken pot, cotton candy, a red balloon, and a spider's web. Poor Slide. He's a robot that was made out of lead. Lead's a heavy metal, but that doesn't make Slide a heavy metal robot. Sounds like Polly's programmed him into a rock star. History itself will rock and roll if we don't find those clues. Shh. I'm gonna try to sense this area out for clues. Okay. All sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the kitchen. There's another mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. Nice. 41. Easy peasy. Let's start. Okay, we need, um, uh, we need 1,003 milliliters of cream. It's kind of disgusting. I don't know. It's kind of a lot. I don't really know. Now we need 11,000 molecules of sugar. Next is two cups of soap. Ugh. For the last ingredient, we need 101 milliliters of axle grease. And we're done. Thank you so much. I couldn't eat another bite. You did it! Man, Mort is one robust robot. For providing such a fine feast, here's a little tip. Stow that clue in your in- Well, Bootley, maybe you're smarter than you look. I have hidden one of the mission clues inside Daddy's virtual collection. What you have to do is figure out which of his great works of art I hid it in. Give us a hint, Polly. Stop needling me with your questions, Dotley. Needling? She's talking about an embroidered tapestry that records a moment from history. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one. The clock. Oh, wow. This is gonna be hard. Seven square, maybe? Right there. There it is. Bam. Uh, I just knew 92 record on these two this equals to 23 and that's over there that needs to go just like this yeah. there we go great job now quiet now i'm gonna sense out this area okay all sensors indicate that polly hit a mission clue in the shrinking machine room 
Well, Clueless, you might as well know there's a mission clue hidden in one of the specimens. This hint should make it clear where it's hidden. Before he got a pencil, Egghead used to have this specimen behind his ear. I would never remove my pretties from the curiosity cabinet for my own personal use. Okay, something that's behind... Uh, goes behind your ear, I guess. Let's see. Okay, so I think I got the answer. It's gonna be C pen. Happy so trails. Tis a far better thing harder. Okay, we're getting close. Just need to hit that back one. Oh, I was so close there. There we go. Okay, now I just need to hit the red, which should be fairly easy. Um, I just need to get up there. Okay. Now, there we go. We got it. The red balloon. Way to go. You freed the clue that Polly hid. Now put it into your inventory so we can get back to saving life as we know it. Careful now, I'm going to sense around here. Huh, I'm getting a strong clue reading in the observatory. Okay. Them all, we won't be able to oh, Wait a start. maneuver. You got another radio wave package. Wait a maneuver. You got another radio wave package. Wait a maneuver. You got another radio wave package. All right. You got all the radio packets. Now we can decode Polly's hint. Um, I yep. curl my tail when I'm angry. I couldn't make any sense out of that, but you managed to find a real sentence. Great! Um, on the tip of my tail is a stinger. I think that's like the crab, like cancer. Great. My sting stinger is deadly to anyone I sting. Great! You decoded one of the sentences. Wait, there's more to be done. Can you find the scorpion in the sky? Great! You decoded the entire hint. Scorpio. Oh, there it is. Here's the Scorpio. Ship. Hear that? You must be right. And here comes the spaceship. Oh my God, Dad! Hey, that okay, we got a thousand points. I'm gonna skip all the uh, the questions on the wheel. It takes time, so I'll see you now later. We're back okay, so we're heading back to 1877 in New Jersey to the invention of the phonograph by Thomas Edison. How does this sound? A trip back in time to the laboratory of Thomas Edison. He's about to become the first person in history to record the human voice. Testing, testing, quiet in the lab. Edison is about to cut his first record. But what's Sly doing back there? Is that heavy metal robot plugging in his guitar? Whoa, dude! Edison's recording wicked riffs. We better pull the plug on this concert. Hit the recall button before Slide starts in with an encore. Much better. Edison is recording the words to Mary Had a Little Lamb. A kinder, gentler debut for the world's first phonograph. Now back to the future. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave back at the robot roost. And we've added another robot to the collection. Nice work, Notley. I guess my own innate intelligence has rubbed off on you. Still, this little nightmare's not over yet. Still more robots to find, more challenges to meet. Good luck. You'll need it. Okay, guys, that was the end of this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.